welcome to my channel. Uh, with this video, I present you the project of last month and uh, I've done new starts and I've continued project I've started already. Uh, this one is a new start, it's from Linen and Thread and I wanted to start it so I'm late because usually it starts in January. I am reaching the third part here. I've done the, the first one and the second one. It's from, uh, the design is from Fox and Rabbit and it is a quacker. It's a mystery sampler fa called Family and Friend because in, in, uh, in this part, there's one here, maybe one here, I don't remember. You can make the first letter of the name of your family. This is the first part. Here you have to put like this. It was a P, Patrick, maybe, I don't know. Patricia, it's very nice for this project because now in Italy all the shops are closed. So I I found this box of the new colors of DMC. So I've decided to use it because I couldn't go to the shop to decide my colors. And there's the new DMC colors. For example, this one is number 11 and 21. This is number 20, for example. Brown are very nice. <clears throat> this one is seven and the other one is eight. And I have the little tin box. How cute is the box? And I've done it on, on a white linen and the result I love a lot. The result. It's very spring, it's new colours, they are very nice colour. The effect, I like a lot the effect. Look at this basket, it's nice. I'm doing the third part. This is <coughs> linen and thread. Another style I've started this month is a uh, Italian, Italian um, project. I want first to show you the project. It is from Renato Parolin. And it is Abbraccio Luminoso. It is a, from, it's a poem or phrase from a, <coughs> Ragore. and you have a frame with roses and in the middle this frieze. You, this is the Italian frame, I've, I've, I've done it in French and you have also the Eng English and Spanish tra traduction for it. And for this project I've used a <coughs> blue linen, it's an Italian linen. As you see, I've quite finished it. I have only to make the border here. <clears throat> and for this project, I've used uh, DMC colors. It's gray and some pink here and there. Yeah, I've done make, make some flowers. Everyone has to choose to this color. So I use the colors I had at home. And for the roses, and the freeze I've used water lilies silk and it's called Java and it has a rose part on it. It's very soft. I like a lot to to stitch with this thread. As you can see on the rose, the effect of water lilies is very nice. It's beautiful. So I've I've changed here. I've done roses also in the frame. Here is, here is my Renato Paroli Rin free free design for this situation. And another start I've done is uh, I've already shown it. It was a uh, French salle, uh, les carrés, les petits carrés, little squares. 
and I, uh, I have continued the border here and it, most of the part was in with hand dyed uh, thread blue and red here I have the thread here yeah, this this one is typical French uh, short this kind of short bread inside and we have all this typical box so I've used a red and blue and dyed threads to doing to do it and also look at this one And this is the, the left this the left over. I have also it is a Italian dyer, blue Lara Swiss color. This one also is amazing. I will use it for other project. This is, is a red and another color. Here is my box of thread. So now I am doing the border. I've done. I've done it till here, and I have to finish here to the this part and the border in the lower part. And I want to finish it. I want to explain you why because now we are just starting a new one it is it's called Feli um, happiness bubble it's always the same uh, designer from l'impulsion um, blog so it's the same kind so after the square we have to do the bubbles to stitch it, I'm using always the dye undyed thread blue and green with white and with the help of blue and green DMC threads. And uh, maybe there's, I don't remember, every Wednesday we have a new bubble. So today we have a new bubble too. This one is the uh, bubble in the center, and you start from your home. You see, you can. It's your home, so I'm very happy to start it again to continue after the squares, the little bubble. And uh, I don't know, it's, this one is an Italian fabric, it's even wave, maybe, I don't know. Even wave? Hmm. I like it a lot because it, the color was uh, natural. I like this fabric. Okay, very good. So now I want to show you a new start also from Mirabilia. It is Mediterranean Mermaid here. Yeah, I have the scheme here. And I wanted to change the color because it was too much dark. It was dark, so I have to change the... the I don't like it. This one, this one, you have to redo it, to restitch it completely. And she has tons of beds and clinic. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of noise. Here are all the clinic. How oh, nice is it? Um, tons and tons of beds for her. So it was a new project. I don't know if I had time to continue at the moment. After Mirabilia, I want to show you my saw. This one is an Italian saw. It is from uh, Cuore and Baticuore, cross stitch, and this is Shabby Winter Calendar. And we are doing another square we are doing this one this part here 
and I've make a little confusion this was here and the 11 part was here and so this part was here and it was quite same same flower so I've changed a little bit and we do a month we do a um, port every month so we have we do it for one year and a half a year and a half maybe the result is very nice so it is very quick and easy to do so it was shabby winter calendar then I have the lavender form here on a violet fabric it is Italian Fratelli Graziano uh, linen it's 30 count linen and I am a little late to do this one I am doing the house here and we are we arrived at the part of the vi we, sh we should finish the flower here so I have the roof vase and the flower to finish I like a lot violet so I have to finish it it is lavender farm I like it very nice okay another project I've started it's always from uh, Quarry and Batik Quarry it is a new one it is this one and we are doing the first part here yeah the first part very nice and the fabric with the dot the brown dot it's very nice i like a lot the fabric look at this it will be very cute it's very cute okay and i want also to show you some little scissors this one is a cushion i've done with laces it is it is undyed it is a hand fabric so it is laces i don't know the the name of it and i've done also this this one here look it's cute it's a scissor my scissor remember oh boy i don't know it's to find the scissor and this one a little cute sorry i have here my little kitty that is doing a lot of mess look you seen you seen yes Oh, you cute, but you're also doing, looking what I am doing, yes. Okay, so this is the one I've done it. And I want also to show you the needle keeper, look, this one. It is a little bear. And the girl that is doing it, she's an Italian designer. She is a... Fairy wool in the wood, and here is the mare maid family. It's very nice. She's done it. I bought it. it. Look how cute it is to put your needle on it. And the, I have this. This is a gift of a friend. It is a, a kind of little box, and the scissor is a Tower Eiffel scissor. Oh, it's very nice and I have I've done this one it's supposed to do to be a necklace princess or you know she's a dancer classic dancer and I've put the big beds here and I love needleminder yeah it's from Gina's boutique and here it's the red shoes from uh, uh, or, or, or 
Oh, she's not. I don't remember. And princess and Lil, uh, Disney character. And also, this one is also a scissor keeper from Gina's Beauty. It was for uh, winter. It's very nice one. Okay, and I recently I bought this design from Blackbird Design. I like it. It's a ser loose feature series. I have six to sixth first one. I have to stitch it. And I have also to find the thread. I want to show you also a um, project that I'm lo doing with Lessies. Here. Here it is. It is a bed sheet and it is the stitch is a square. Look, I want to show you how I do it. So you baby A. Hey. No no you can't play here no. No 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 baby go. You go now. Okay, sorry. So this is an old she bed sheet. It's very large, and to do the to do the stitch, so the you have to make a little square. So you have to from down you count more or less four thread. Sorry, huh? here down round you make. This you take up four parts, you do a double round here, and then you go down. Do it again four, four thread. Of course, I'm taking here. You have to take off the a line of thread, different line of thread, horizontal. You see, there's no, there is, the thread is taken off here. So you go on the lower part. I don't show it very well because it's very big. I don't know how to move it so you take I've already taken it no you take four more less four threads you make a little round yes you go on the top make a little round also and you go down It's very long because the threads are very little. Four down here. Make around four thread. Four. Make a double round to fix better. And you go on the lower part. And you return at the start. And you, you are making this stitch that is called uh, unto quadro um, square stitch maybe it's called and it's the design is on one part here and here you have the other part next time I will show you and it's called Giliuccio look it's very nice it's a design I'm doing the square part here and on the top you you do the other part like this 
Okay, I hope that you like my channel or my project. I will, I will do another video another time. Thank you for watching and bye bye.